Esai. Hello, Ellen. You're, you're, you're our first Esai. Really? <laughs> wow. Do you, do you know other Esais? You want to know something kind of funny? Yes. Uh, I was... <laughs> No. Not here. No, okay. No, <laughs> no funny haha. -ha. Um, I was playing softball in the park, and you know, those guys that play soccer, you know, the Central American folks that are just playing soccer, and I met this guy and his wife, and they, they wanted to introduce me to this little baby called Isai, and they named him after me, and I was just about to die. Really? Oh, that was great. <laughs> That's yeah. sweet. I, I, wow, I guess I, I'm somebody now or something. Wow. Like that. That's uh, very sweet. Was it a cute baby? Oh. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, what an honor. Yeah. You know? No, that is an honor. It was amazing. Now, you, I, I was mentioning uh, at the top of the show that, that you work so much. Now, you're on NYPD Blue. I just retired. Just retired. Yes. And, in, in dignity. They uh -huh. didn't roll me up or, you know, do some uh -huh. sort of weird thing to me. Yeah. But how did you do that and American Dreams, both? How American did you, Family. American Family. Um, I'm working on American Dreams. Uh, no. <laughs> sure, it's going to be a My third show. Job, no. the, the thing is that uh, they were gracious enough to uh, respect the fact that I had done the pilot to American Family before. And the secret is that I've done th three shows, like series shows on separate networks that are non-competing, you see? And I didn't really tell everybody everything all the time because I didn't know. And I felt like I had a duty to my family, my Latino American family, to be part of the family that's hopefully going to change, you know, uh, television and include us at the family table, you know, in the family photo album that is TV, which is really <laughs> Absolutely. You know, yeah. And, and, and the way it would happen is that, like, on weekends and days off, I would go do American Family, and then I'd go right back to doing Blue. And, uh, and then at the end of the hiatus, I, I was on Resurrection Boulevard that was on Showtime. So I did cable, public, and network television, and nobody said anything, so I just kept going. <laughs> they usually sign you, though, to an exclusive deal. So well, you can't go with a competing network. Right. But even that, because, but, but that's, that's great. Now, we have a clip, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. And it's getting great reviews. You're getting, I mean, really, yeah. really great reviews. E Ebert, I think, said it was, that and The Sopranos were the best shows on TV, and I have to say, thank you, Raj. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, so, now, you started out, you went to the School of Performing Arts in New York, which was, was, was fame, that was the based fame on school, the fame right. school. And, uh, and that's an interesting t story, too, because you kind of ran away to do this, right? Well, yeah, I ran away three times, you know. I, I got it right by the third time. I became a ward of the state. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I lived in a home for boys about an hour and a half north, you know, up in the Bronx, the very tip top of the Bronx. And I have to take a bus and a train. And the thing was that I, I really knew at an early age that, you know, I had something to do in this business, something to give, something to offer. And actually, I was going to get thrown out at one point. I was going to get kicked out because I had a little discipline problem. I'm, I was late a lot. And uh, the chancellor, or the, the chairman of the drama department said, you know, if you come in late one more time, you know, we're going to have to consider letting you go. So I, about after midnight, I went to school about 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, broke in. I went over a wall, and I, and I got into the little yard, and I climbed through a window. I found one open. Hey, don't, no, no, make, no, make, no jokes, please, all right? <laughs> I, I climbed in my school, and uh, I was afraid that there were going to be like Doberman pinchers and security. You know, remember the, some TV movie where the Doberman pinchers were like the security? They would come and get you, and I was scared, terrified. But uh, and the flying nuns would come down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 find, I finally found the auditorium, and it's amazing to be in an auditorium when there's no one around. You know, at night, and the light streaming in from outside, and it, and and I ended up curling up to sleep on top of the piano with the the curtain, the velvet curtain of the stage around me. And that was one of my favorite memories. And it, I stayed in. I got, I, I got through the school, you know? So that's, that's amazing. <laughs> that, instead of being late, you got there at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, and I could have been arrested for <laughs> yeah, breaking and yeah. entering. But, you know, hey, so, you know. so you wouldn't be late. Yeah. Well, that's determination. And it's, it's paying off. So yeah, good for you. Yeah. Well, thanks yeah. for being here. Well, and uh, you. come back anytime. God American bless. Family Journey of Dreams. <laughs> season premieres this Sunday on PBS. Check your local listings for the time. Chaka Khan performs right after this. Stay here.